Hello and welcome to another video and this is my August TBR and in August I managed to finish three books and the first thing that I managed to finish was Jaws by Peter Benchley and I gave this three stars. Um, I did generally enjoy it but I think it's one of those things where the film did a slightly better, like, although the book is decent enough, it's got, you get a lot more depth and more information from the characters and things. I think the movie just has that something, that, that edge, that drives the whole thing, I guess. Um, it doesn't happen very often uh, for me anyways, but overall it was fine, it was just wasn't my favourite thing. Um, and I was slightly disappointed by the ending of this, I was hoping it would be a bit more dramatic than what it was. But I didn't hate it, um, so a pretty even Stevens, three stars from me. And the next one that I read was Girl Crush by Florence Given. Uh, again, I gave this one three stars. It was the middle of the road for me. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this, to be honest. Um, it read easily enough. It wasn't hard at all. Um, it was about a young woman who goes viral on an app, uh, an app called Wonderland. Um, and kind of that push and pull between reality and virtual reality, I guess. Um, you know, online abuse that she receives, and then being pulled by like on like management from her online stuff, um, and having a lot of pressure from different things, and being put like stretched too thin. Um, and to be fair, it was one of the and like the end of this one, I think, could have been a bit stronger as well because yeah it just wasn't quite but like at the ending like it wasn't it could have been a bit more fleshed out by the end um but i didn't necessarily hear it either but um but that's fine um so yeah i don't really have a lot to say about this to be fair and the third book that i managed to complete was an audio of the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time. I borrowed that, the audible off my, the audio, the audio book from the Libby app um, in my area. And I think I gave that four stars. Uh, like the, the book, the, the main character is meant to be a 15 year old autistic boy. And although he's meant to be 15, he reads a little younger than that, maybe if like a twelve or a thirteen year old, um, like a like a a twelve or thirteen year old that is uncertain of the world around him, um, which as an autistic boy he was obviously unsure of things as it was, but I did enjoy it overall. I liked his perspective, you know, what about this autistic boy. And about his relationships with his family um mostly so that was all interesting i enjoyed all of that um but yes the only thing is that i feel like he read younger than what he was and i don't know if that was a deliberate thing for his character because he was in a a school meant for children with disabilities um so i don't know if his character is meant to be like meant to have the mentality slightly younger um and that's why he's in the specialist school i don't know but overall i did enjoy that um so yes it's just a short video today because i only had the three i've already done a tbr for september but i think that's probably going to be look slightly different but you'll find out what I read in the wrap up for September so that's fine 
Um, but I'll see you again very soon. And thanks for watching.